Hi everybody, this is Paul at Reliable POD and this is a video showing you how to create personalised doormats for your Shopify or Etsy store. Uh, just to introduce us, we're Reliable POD, we're a print-on-demand manufacturer located in Illinois. We have around a hundred different products, all which can be personalised uh, using our free Shopify stroke Etsy app. So moving on, um, this is what we'll show you how to create. Um, this is the doormat, uh, these three sizes, as you can see here. And using our software, once you put this onto your Shopify store, you immediately get full integrated personalization. So when your customer comes on your store, they click on personalize and they get the option here to then add the name of their choice, which does that. And if you were on Shopify, if you want to change the color of the background or if they want to, they can click here and then you can pick any color you want basically to add it in there. So once that's done, all your customer has to do is click, let's have a look, add it to the basket, and that order will come through to us uh, with all the personalization done. You don't have to touch it. And uh, we print and ship it to your customer. It's the same on Etsy. You can push the product to Etsy. And this is what the product will look like on Etsy. You can change your titles in everything, which I'll show you how to do that to fit in with the search terms. But you get three products. The only thing you can't do on Etsy is they can't change the color of the background because Etsy don't allow us to do that. But you get your created personalization field here. So the customer can add in their family name or whatever. They then add that to the basket purchase it and that artwork will come through with the name perfectly positioned all you've got to do then is just check it and click on approve and that order comes through to us so how do you do this and uh, how does it work well first thing you'll need to come onto the website click login and if you don't have an account create yourself a free account once you've done that it brings you to here within the app if you click, you'll need to fill out your settings and your details, etc. Uh, but if you click on my products, we've got print on demand products, which you can create your own products. We've got personalized where you can add your own upload fields and everything and push those to the app. There's lots of videos on the website showing you how to do it. And then we've created a section called pre-designs. Uh, so if you come into here, we're adding different personalized designs that you can add to your store, um, to Etsy or Shopify. So at the moment we're doing doormats here, but what you would do as this grows, uh, you would come in here and you would select your product there. So first thing we'll do is push one to Shopify. So you click on the three dots. You obviously, you've got to connect your Shopify store, but like I said, there's videos to do that. That's pretty easy. Add it to your store. Select which store you want. So you're going to send this to your Shopify store. Click your way through it. Here you can add tags or you can add them in Shopify itself. You can change your title to whatever you want. With Shopify, I tend to keep the titles relevant to what the product is rather than using search terms on Shopify. Here you can select what collection it goes into. Here you can change your pricing. If you want to put the pricing up, lower it. You can just change all that very easily. Then you just click add to store. So if you close that button and then we move across to uh, Shopify, you can see that product's come in. That one's the one I did before just to show you the demo. But if I click on there, you'll see that quite literally is all you have to do to get uh, products on there. So I'll show you what happens next with Etsy. Let me just close some of these windows out. 
All right, so when you want to push the product to Etsy, again, you come into the My Products, Pre-Designs, Find Doormats, click on the three dots, click Add to Store, and then select the store, which will be the Etsy. Then you have to go through a few settings. These are the mockups it creates. Now, this is the title. Uh, now, when you're using Etsy, as many of you all know, uh, you want to do this with search terms and tags so you can get yourself right up uh, to the top of Etsy. So what I tend to do is I use a piece of software called Jungle Scout. It's a personalized uh, doormat that we're selling. So I go into Keyword Scout. And there's lots of different software out there. I mean, this is paid for, so I use it a lot, but... Uh, this similar software that's out there. I put in personalized doormat and then as you come down here you can see two and a half thousand searches on custom rug personalized doormat. A really strange one here. I'm from the UK so this might mean something in the USA. Nana and Papa's house doormat. Not really sure what that is but it's very popular custom doormat so what i tend to do is i do a little bit of research on the titles beforehand and then i drop them into a document here and i make up my title which on etsy has to be under 200 i think it is so once i've created that title i then copy that and you can either do this now before you push the product to uh, etsy or you can do it afterwards and then click on next i tend to add my tags uh, once i get onto etsy because uh, there's quite a few of them so it's easier to add them on an etsy click on next enter your personalization instructions so i type in here enter your name here click next this is if you've got any sections on your store, you can add it to a section on your Etsy store. And then you have to find the category. And the category for these, I believe, is rugs. Uh, so here we go. Home, living floor and rugs. So like that. Free shipping. You have to have your shipping set up on Etsy. That's the shipping that we use. So you just set a shipping profile up for that. Where the producer, you can either tell people that or not. Click next again. You can select your pricing here. Then you can just add that to the store. So if we now go across to the Etsy store and take a look in there. So if you see that's now come across into Etsy. It's got your personalized title on there that's got the keywords in. Uh, we will be producing some videos which you can add. We can't push videos to Etsy, but we'll have some product videos that you can add for these. Um, as you scroll down, we'll come to keywords soon. We don't need the size in there. Reliable. So here's you've got your tags which are optional. What I tend to do because it's easier is I just pull the tags. And then I paste them in and press enter and that should give you a bunch of tags in there you can see here it's created all your product codes it's also created your personalization field enter your name here and then it's attached it to the shipping profile we've got so what I'll do now is I'll just publish that and show you what that looks like so that's published so if i go to the live listing just give me one second there you have your product on etsy with all the different sizes and then a customer can just enter their text here and that will come through perfectly positioned you won't need to edit it or change a font it will size itself to fit perfectly in there in the right color uh, and that's it you also as you can see you get all your description and information on we ship things in one to three days uh, and that's it 
So that's how you can get personalized doormats onto your website. I'll be adding lots more videos and we're creating lots more pre-designs for different products for you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.